Hi there. Do you know what type of animal this is? That's right. It's a parrot. This parrot's name is Jasper. He belongs to my friend Susan, and she told me that he was learning a new word every day. Isn't that amazing? So today's big question is: How do animals communicate? I asked Susan what Jasper's favorite word was, and she said crackers. Of course, not all animals can talk, but every animal communicates, and they communicate. In different ways, animals communicate with each other for different reasons. A lot of animals are very territorial. They have their own space or territory, and they communicate to defend that space. Hippos, for example, bellow when they feel threatened or want to fight another hippo. These bellows can be as loud as thunder or jet plane. Camels spit when they feel their territory has been threatened. Some animals are predators. They bare their teeth when they want to scare other animals, and sometimes they roar. When other animals hear these predators, they warn each other. Monkeys, for example, communicate different alarm signals for different predators. If a monkey hears the alarm signal for a lion or a cheetah, they climb into the trees. But if they hear the signal for an eagle, they stay on the ground. Animals communicate in different ways. Birds, for example, can communicate with each other through their songs and calls. They do this in different ways too. Some birds whistle. Some birds tweet. And some birds hoot. They make these sounds for the same reasons as other animals. They want to defend their territory, and they want to find a mate. Most people really like the sounds that birds make. In fact, we call it bird song because it sounds like a person singing. People enjoy the sounds of many animals, and sometimes. They can communicate with them. Other animals that communicate with humans include apes and dolphins. Animals communicate for a lot of different reasons. Take Jasper for example. He communicates with Susan when he's excited, when he's scared, and more importantly, when he's hungry. And Susan says he's almost always hungry.